this lesson, we're going to use subtractive synthesis to implement a polyphonic MIDI synthesizer. Subtractive synthesis consists of sculpting sound containing a dense harmonic content, such as noise, square waves, sawtooth waves, for example, using one or several filters. First, we are going to reuse the wave generator circuit implemented in the previous lesson as the source of our subtractive synthesizer. In practice, we can even remove the sine wave oscillator from it since it doesn't make sense to process a pure tone through a filter in this case. And we can replace it with a white noise generator. So now when wave is equal to zero, white noise will be generated. Let's now create a subtractive circuit taking wave generator and feeding it to a resonant low pass filter. This kind of filter is implemented in Faust in the reson LP circuit defined in the filters.lib filters library. Let me show the documentation of this uh, reson LP filter. As you can see in the library's documentation, the circuit has four inputs the cutoff frequency, the Q, the gain, and the signal to be processed. Here, in order to create a dynamic spectrum, we're going to modulate the cutoff frequency of this filter using a low frequency sine wave oscillator. Since we never want the cutoff frequency to be smaller or equal to zero, or even below the human hearing range, we put a safeguard here using max. Let's now try to run this code to see how it sounds. Spend some time playing with the various parameters of this synth to see what they do. OK, let's run it to see how it sounds. Yes. Wow. So we can modify the frequency, the Q factor, the cutoff frequency. Give us some beats, Jan. Put some white noise. White noise. I do whatever I want to do. Okay. This is my computer. And this conclude this. Adding the envelope circuit from previous lessons, we can implement a polyphonic synthesizer simply by multiplying the output of subtractive by envelope. Note that any kind of filter can be used here, high pass, band pass, and that they can be daisy chained to create complex sounds and behaviors. Also, none of the user interface elements here are smoothed. We'll leave that up to you. If you want to smooth them, you can do it. Uh, if you don't want, just don't do it. Just keep in mind that every time you smooth something, you might add a little bit of computation to your code. Run this code and have fun playing it. OK, so let's try it. First, put on polyphonic mode and then run the code. Romain? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, Jan. I think you enjoy playing this game. Yeah. Fantastic, it's a new song. Yeah? Okay. It's the theme song.